Hello and welcome to the Banker's Tech Talk video series looking at the developments in the world of fintechs. I'm Joy McKnight, Deputy and Technology Editor at The Banker, and I'm joined by Paul Ferris, CEO of Object Type, which uses self-sovereign digital identity to solve regulatory problems for banks. Paul, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you for inviting me. So can you tell me a little bit about how important digital identity is for, let's say, financial inclusion on one hand, but also to sort of increase productivity on the other? Financial inclusion is, is, uh, uh, is, is a broad term that takes in many, many things. You know, there's, there's over 200 million small and medium-sized enterprises around the world that haven't got bank access to, to financial services. And really, that's because of the, the expense of actually providing financial services to that sector. Um, and, and that's the sort of uh, area that we're actually providing the tool set for them to give, uh, have a better way of accessing financial services simply by reducing the huge cost of onboarding people into a digital identity or identity at the moment in a system that really isn't working very well, mm. certainly not, not for 40% of the world's population that hasn't got a bank account. What actual pain points are you solving for banks with object tex technology? Okay, well, we bring a tool set along, and the way we look on it is that uh, banks uh, have the absolute uh, responsibility to know who they're, they're dealing with, and the responsibility also to make a decision on, on who they want to deal with. There's never been any uh, real push to give individuals, and that includes um, uh, companies, the tools to actually provide uh, the data in a meaningful way to make the banks able to do that job better. Mm. So at the moment, we've got a system that really is designed 40 or 50 years ago, and we haven't allowed uh, the individuals to take some sort of responsibility for who they are and actually provide better data to the banking and financial services. Okay. Uh, and Right now, there's a big, there's a lot of talk around the idea of self-sovereign identity. What exactly does that mean? Self-sovereign identity really means the ownership of your your own identity data, the ownership and then the permissioning. So mm -hmm. everything that we're doing here is actually, you know, following the direction of regulatory change. For instance, GDPR is very much about people taking some responsibility for permissioning the data that you're providing people. And, uh, and then, of course, we're using biometrics, and that's really the sort of information that you should keep for yourself and permission when it's useful and, make, and it's going to make the whole process an awful lot easier and cheaper for everybody to run. <laughs> one is blockchain, one is biometrics, and I know Object Tech actually uses both mm -hmm. um, in providing a digital identity. How does that work? Well, we, are, we also use some other new technologies, but those are the ones that everybody wants to talk to. Uh, talk about and of course blockchain is uh, a huge opportunity actually in my eyes uh, we've been working in this area for about seven years now and when I saw blockchain I saw a way of providing trust in in uh, electronic systems rather than uh, in computing you're able to do the process but the trust is provided by the institution itself mm. the blockchain actually provides the trust framework that we can then use to to you uh, to pass say identity data that can itself be trusted. So that's the sort of uh, uh, use that we have for blockchain. A very small part of uh, uh, blockchain is only a small part of what we do, but of course it's that they're, they're all crucial parts to uh, enable what wasn't uh, really available to uh, you know as a solution ten years ago. So it's well-known technology. It's well-founded uh, uh, technology but we're applying it to a huge problem for the regulated businesses around the world. Okay. And it's a global solution, by the way. That's, that's also very uh, key. And you're doing something very interesting in Dubai. Can you explain to me what the project is? So what we've got in, in Dubai is really the seed of what we hope, and in fact is, is proven to be the case. We're spreading this uh, tool set, the use of the tool set, in this case to actually take away the, uh, the passport gates at Dubai, at the, the new Dubai airport. Now that's going to make, sh make uh, available um, a, an, in, uh, uh, an identity system that can go get into Dubai without stopping at passport gates. There are no passport gates, and that means when you get off the, the aeroplane, and we're talking about 20 million people getting off the aeroplane in the new Dubai airport every month, and so every one of them will have uh, the tool set to be able to uh, able enable them to pass their identity data to the Dubai government before they even arrive. Now that's really good for Dubai. They're, they have huge economic need for, for 
um, this sort of seamless approach. Yeah. They really do want to attract business, and this is the way that we can attract business. Excellent. Thank you so much for your time, Paul. That's great. Thank you very much for inviting me.